I'm sitting here staring at a screen that will soon fill with words, looking at pictures, hoping something will consume the blank pages with black pixels. All I see is you. The problem is, I can only see. You still remain entrapped within the ink walls of the photographs as they lay in the album. I can pull brief moments of you, but nothing more. I know you're there, but I can't pull you from my head. I can feel the memories slowly slipping out the holes in the gates I built to keep them in, knowing I was unable to fill their place with new images and videos of conscious life. All the photos I have of you are old. Nothing after I was four or five. All the quirks are there, but there they remain. You can't pull life from a photo. I can tug at random flicks of memory. Hugging you as I came up the steps to spend a weekend with you. The way your shirt wrapped around me, whether it was made of plush cotton fabric or stiff polo material. The way the floors of your house creaked as I ran up the stairs to the bedrooms. The cat who had more fur than body. Finn and I came over about every other weekend but I hadn't been over there in a few months. I didn't really like coming to a place that was hard to consider my other home because there wasn't much to do. I didn't have any friends there anymore and you were usually asleep. Loneliness picked at the walls if I wasn't paying attention. You died before you could start the next chapter of your life. Leaving your bride-to-be, clutching the wedding dress that matched the sterile whiteness of the halls of the ICU. When you died, there was never a moment of full revelation, and I'm glad. I slowly came to terms with it in the best way I could. I saw everyone who came to see you in hopes they wouldn't have to watch you die. It was simpler for it to slowly seep into my reality than all at once. A year after the story seemed to come to a resolution, it took an unexpected turn when I figured out you drank yourself to death. While you fought a fight, you would eventually lose against yourself. It showed me a whole different part of you I was too naive to know existed. The anger chipped away at the pain. It tainted my memories for the longest time. I became too upset at you to be upset about you. It's only now that I'm beginning to digress in the feeling of the unknown dark haze, grabbing at my remaining memories to allow them only to be viewed through a seemingly unbreakable red lens. But there are still too many hows. How did you let this all happen? How could the end of your pain and suffering mark the beginning of mine? How is that right? How do humans, a species that go to questionable lengths in refusal to remain useless, remain useless to the laughing, merciless embodiment of death? They're not fair questions to have to ask. They don't deserve conceivable answers. Now and then, I catch myself thinking about you. I wonder what you would think of this or what you would say about that. It's funny because I didn't think about all this stuff when you were alive. I wonder what you would think of what I've become since, what I will soon come to be, and what I will eventually come to be. What you would think of everything. I visit Pendleton sometimes. Your house looks strange with other people's decorations. It looks wrong. Like everything's in its place except those things. The church across the street's parking lot still filled with gravel and goat heads. The downstairs neighbor's yard still scattered with lawn furniture. The river still the background of the old climbing tree. Your house, the only changed thing in an untouched world. But it's not your house anymore. It's some new person's. We don't get to make any more memories there. 
We don't get to make any more memories, period. We just don't. You don't get to know your teenage daughter, and she has to know you as memories and photographs. Well, the pages are full of pixels that will soon print to ink. So, this is the end. For now. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your